drive through Toy Fans. I'm Mitch Santona. Today we're taking a look at McDonald's 1993's Making Movies. Right, this set only came with four toys. They're all exclusive McDonald's toys. There are no other theme besides we're making movies. So in no particular order, you can collect all four. Let's go with the little chalkboard here. This is the movie making chalkboard. I'm just going to shove these off to the side. As you can see, I've written things on it. So the director is me, Mitch Santona. This is about the 59th take, probably, I'd say. And the title is 93 McDonald's making movies, baby. Really cool. It comes complete with a big chunk of chalk. And before each and every take, I like to just sit this right in front of my camera and go action. Wouldn't be complete without the director's megaphone. And this doesn't have any kind of electronics or anything in it, except that it does have some little bit of an amplifying speaker here and a little chunk of dog hair or something, hopefully. So without further ado, let's stick this in my mouth. Wow, that really doesn't work. Action, action. Take five. It's a little bit distorting. I was actually talking, uh, but uh, it does work well. That's kind of a neat, neat little toy. No good movie is, or video, I should say, uh, is not going to be complete without a sound effects machine. In this case, we got an old school one here. Back in 93, this is how they used to be. Every movie set had one of these. So I'm assuming these are all going to do something when I start pushing stuff. So, I guess let's do that now. Does this thing do anything? No. Does this thing do anything? What sound is that? The sound of something going in and out. How about that? <laughs> There's a spring. You hear that? Boing, boing. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see, is this just click clicking? Is that the noise that that makes is just clicking. Oh wait, is it ticking? Like a like a time bomb, something like that. Oh, I'm not sure. I'd love to know what this thing is supposed to do here. Am I supposed to pull on it? Am I supposed to pick it out of there? Is that just part of the part of this thing that's not making it or doing anything? I don't know. So. That's really it. Uh, this is kind of, I guess, the lamer of the three <laughs> that we've looked at. Except I do like this. That's so cool. Boing. Lastly, we have the movie camera. And it's got the old school movie camera, I guess. It's got film in it. Uh, and maybe the new ones have that too, even the digital ones. I'm not quite sure. Uh, so what this has is it's just like this little... It's basically a one-to-one -one lens or just plain old plastic that you're looking through. <laughs> it has a, a shutter. This thing doesn't serve any purpose that I can tell unless it's doing something and I've broke it. Uh, but basically, this little crank handle here, when you look through it, it just open and closes that shutter. So... See it? Open, close. There is no magnification. If there is, it's like 1.01 .01 or something. <laughs> I don't know. So that's really it. You can turn this thing all the way around. It should open at some point again or not. There we go. Oh, open, shut, open, shut. There we go. Kind of fun. Now it looks like a, like an old school motion picture. That's it, folks. If you are a McDonald's diehard collector, then absolutely pick this set up. Find it on the secondhand market. You might be able to find a buddy or someone that owned it and really loved it. Uh, I think it's kind of neat just for some old McDonald's memorabilia that is strictly made for them and uh, doesn't have any kind of other like Avengers label or, you know, like My Little Pony or something. This is just a flat out McDonald's set. So a collector of McDonald's items uh, might want to hunt this one down. It is kind of neat. So I'm Mitch Santona. This is Drive Through Toys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You guys have a fantastic day and I'll be with you shortly. Stick around. See ya.